Hi, I'm KB with Nerd Files. How are each of you? Great. Wow, how are you? Oh my gosh, love these outfits so much. <laughs> Thank <think> you. Abs- <laughs> I absolutely adored this film. So my first question is for each of you, but I can start with you first, Kiana, to answer. Mm-hmm. Um, what did stepping into these characters kind of teach each of you about the power of forgiveness and, and friendship? Mm. Forgiveness is a big one. Mm-hmm. Forgiveness is a big one because like, the longer you're friends with someone, you, you You can't just assume that everything will be Mm -hmm. all fine and dandy at all moments. Mm -hmm. They will do wrong to you. You will do wrong Mm -hmm. to them. And um, the older I get, the more I realize you have to be able to forgive people. Mm -hmm. You have to Mm -hmm. also be able to apologize. And even more so, you have to be able to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And at a very young age, you see the Supremes doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the... When when we first meet Barbara Jean, Odette and Clarice, we're meeting Barbara Jean at a in a place in her life where, you know, we're we're meeting her where she's at, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And through as as their as their friendship test test time, they go through a lot and a lot of times they end up in arguments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it also it all comes from love. And it's yeah. and it all has a lot to do with forgiveness and apologizing and loving on each other mm-hmm. and understanding that it all comes from the heart. Mm-hmm. And like forgiveness and love like go hand in hand in yeah. that way. Like it's like because yeah. I think like even like to like like Odette showing up for Barbara Jean when she had this big test that she had to go to that was gonna be the next thing for her. Yeah. Like forgiving, without even making a conversation about it, like forgiving Barbara Jean for the whatever in- instance was happening in her life, you know, this crisis that she was going through, and choosing to be like, no, 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 I, I want to do this. I'd rather, I'd rather be here, and like there is time for for the other things still. Mm-hmm. So it's like the the idea of love, like w- within friendship, means that. The idea of love being unconditional. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. The, to truly be unconditional means that you have to love through and through. Mm-hmm. Like when it gets so bad that it seems like, oh, like to when it's so good that it's that everybody's on top of the world. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. That 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 is what defines a friendship. Yeah. That is what yeah. defines your closeness to somebody. And I think not being too big enough to apologize, yeah. especially when you have friendships that have lasted so many mm-hmm. years. People are changing. Mm-hmm. We're growing. Mm-hmm. Something yeah. that you said to me when I was 15 may not have offended me then, but it might hurt my feelings a little yeah. bit now. Yeah. Yeah. And not doing the, oh, you've changed. Yes, I've grown. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You hit the other. Yes. You yes. And allow you to That is a red grow. flag. Yeah. yeah. Because you have to be able to allow your friends to evolve because yeah. you're yeah. surely evolving. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I think that's the yeah. true testament to friendship. Mm-hmm. Like, for, like you said, love and forgiveness mm-hmm. and consistently choosing yes. to love and forgive one another. Yeah. And I love that you said that. It's true. The evolution of people, you have to allow space for yes. that. I think the older that I get, that's something that I realize. And so it was very beautiful to see these three, you know, girlfriends really allow space to fail, um, to succeed, you know, to evolve, to grow, to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, like you mentioned, Tati, have that kind of unconditional yeah. love at the center of it all. Mm-hmm. And so um, just for each of you, because your performances are all so exceptional in this project, mm-hmm. um, what did this project specifically kind of give you as an artist that you will take to the next project that you work on? And I can start with you, Tati. Um, I think an, a considerable level of heart mm-hmm. and groundedness. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that t- to dive, like, you know, particularly with Barbara Jean and the hardships that she had to face through this film in the really like dark times like the being able to dive into that and feel safe to like thankfully due to the environment that Tina created like of put your heart forth you are safe here we will catch you I will make sure that you're good I will make sure that you go home okay Mm. um so I think that it it taught me to not hold back on certain things and i think even in times when you know i don't have necessarily a a director as you know present and caring as tina Mm -hmm. but just to 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 put my heart forth always Mm -hmm. um and to to not be afraid to go there um because i think at at, at times uh, in other projects that i've had or things like that that i've been scared to or to to go all the way there or to, to to uh sit in an uncomfortable space like or mm-hmm. thinking oh is this too much um and yeah I think for me just just remembering that that's never it's never a a, a wrong choice to be as human as possible yeah yeah I think yeah. what about for you Abigail I think Clarice taught me 
how to stand up for the decisions that I desire and that mm-hmm. I want, even though mm-hmm. it might not be conventional or it might not be the thing that I should do, but it's like mm-hmm. what I want in that moment and allowing the result to play out as it should mm-hmm. and then knowing that it will pivot But when you can always pivot back. Mm-hmm. You can always go back. There's not this deadline for when to make the right decision. If you don't ever make a mistake and learn, if you don't ever make a mistake, you won't learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I think that's what Clarice taught me. But I think being on the set as an artist, I walked away knowing I can trust myself. Mm-hmm. And it came mm-hmm. from one Tina consistently telling me, you got this. Mm-hmm. You can do this. I believe in you. And just so mm-hmm. gently giving notes when notes were mm-hmm. needed and allowing me to experiment mm-hmm. in a way that felt safe, knowing that I wouldn't fail, that what they wouldn't use like a bad take mm-hmm. of me. Mm-hmm. And especially with the emotional scenes, giving us the time to get to a raw yeah. and vulnerable place for ourselves. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. stuff like that, I was just like, wow, like one, I can trust my instrument, but with such a great leader on set, that is Tina Mabry, Mm -hmm. I knew that I could trust myself, I can experiment, and even if I fail, it was okay, Mm because we could try again. Yeah. 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 And I would say, this was like one of the first times where I really felt confident in just taking chances. Mm -hmm. And like, to piggyback, it had a lot to do with Tina's Tina's encouragement. Mm -hmm. I mean, she really did curate a safe space. Um, There's a lot of times in the film where you'll see, like, A lot of it is ad lib. A lot of it is improv. And sometimes Tina would just be like, let the cameras roll. And, like, I mean, to have that type of trust come Mm -hmm. from your director is, like, really empowering. Mm -hmm. Um, There are moments where I was like, I would have been terrified to try this on, you know, previous uh, projects I've worked on. And then this project, I was like, you know what? Tina's really allowing me to, like, tap Mm -hmm. into my artistry, into Mm -hmm. my creativity. Like, let me get a, give it a go. Yeah, and I was yeah, able to give yeah. it a go with confidence. And it's like, whoa, it almost feels like dump, jumping into the deep end for the first time. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that was so yeah. exhilarating. Because yeah. it's like now you really get to dive yeah. into these characters. Like you really get to tell the story with like so much verve. And mm-hmm. it's so satisfying because it's like, for, like, I feel like for so long I've just always, I, I always dive in. But it's like, you just don't want to go too far yeah. you know you just yeah. want to do the job that you're there to do and make sure that you help make the movie mm-hmm. or the show the way the director wants it to be but gosh i felt free and yes. now i feel like yes. you know for projects to come i will i will always have that sense of creativity and artistry and freedom and just agency over yeah. over my yeah. over my machine yeah. um and and Tina really allowed that yeah. to to sprout out of me and i i can add the very first day of filming i was so nervous i was so nervous but then when Tina called action and you, Key, you just started ad libbing. You're like, yeah, like, don't look. And I was just like, oh, it, it was literally <laughs> just energy back and forth. Where I was like, yes. in and out. It just, you're, you accepting her permission to be free simultaneously then allowed me to also be free. Yes. And so then I think it just like really created something so authentic and beautiful. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Just the freedom and the safety that black women yeah. provide yeah. is yeah. always yes. so matched, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> so thanks to each of you for taking time to chat with us. We really appreciate it. I truly cannot wait for audiences to see this film. Thank I enjoyed you. every minute. I laughed. I cried. <laughs> I had such an amazing time. So just thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> well, have a great day. Thank All right. You, you do the same. Bye. Thank- Hi. Hi, so I am KB with so Nerdy Girls. How are all of you? I'm good. Right. How you doing? Very good. Thank you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. What a beautiful film. I absolutely oh, okay. adored it. So my question is for each of you, but I'll start with you, Anjanu, to answer first. You know, kind of what did working on this film and stepping into these characters, what did it teach you about the power of love and, and friendship and forgiveness? Um, what did it teach me? Um, I, I think it I think it gave me an opportunity. I don't know if it necessarily taught me something, but it gave me an opportunity to self examine, mm-hmm. which I think is important. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, I'm I'm playing Odette like, ooh, Odette, she just don't take no time for herself. She just worried about everybody else. And now that we're having this convers- <laughs> these conversations about it. I'm like, oh, that I might need to look at that in my in my in my own life and how I how I move around in the world. So now that we're a bit away from it, it's given me an opportunity 
uh, to do a little self-examination. Yeah. Mm, I love that. Yeah. And what about for you, Sina? Hmm. What did I learn? Yeah, what did it teach you about the power of, of forgiveness and friendship? Hmm. I mean, it really just kind of deepened my appreciation. Um, definitely, I was just saying that I, I, you know, I've had these kind of friends. I've had, I have some Supremes in my life. And, you know, you kind of, because they're always there, you kind of, you know, you can take them for granted or you're just like, oh, yeah, that's my, that's my bestie or that's, but going through this process and really thinking about this story and the arc of these beautiful characters, it made me appreciate my Supremes in my real life and, and to really take the time to let them know how much I value them and appreciate them. And, you know, our, our lives are in, in this technological world. It's getting so busy and so, so removed. And um, to really take the time to, you know, see each other in person. And you know what I mean? Like, that's like a thing of the past, right? And so definitely just appreciating more. Yeah. yeah. Um, and next up, Russell, what about for you? Uh, you? You know, it's just, you just realize how important it is to, to have people that you can count on as friends and you can call real friends. Uh, when I was in my 20s, I'll never forget, my uncle used to always tell me, he said, once you get past around 40, 45, he said, you'll be lucky if you have five friends in yes. your life. Yeah. You know, so and I and I thought I thought he was ridiculous. I thought he was crazy when he <laughs> said that. You know, in your twenties, you got hope. You got a ton of friends you call, and he is right. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have five people that you can consider good friends, um, you're you're lucky. You're very lucky, and it's it's a rarity. And so it just helped me to to try to deepen you know my relationships, my friendships, yeah. and uh, and hold on. Yeah. Mm. I love that. And last but certainly not least, Makai. Um, thank you. Um, you know, this helped me analyze certain things, and I just want to tack on to what Russell said. You know, in my 20s, you know, and even being young in this business, I tried to bring up so many people and, mm. you know, help them out and say, look, man, look at what I'm doing. And have to be as excited and as, vig and as invigorated as I am. Let me show you this. Let me take you here. Mm -hmm. and, and I considered them friends, you know. And as you start to get older and you find that people aren't in the same mindset that you're in, not saying that my mindset was the ultimate mindset. It was just my mindset. You know, it was the mindset that I was going after, the things that I was going after. Um, so I'm not faulting anybody, but s some people start to fall to the side. And and you start to realize that they were just a conduit to take you somewhere else. And as, and, and as I get older now, yes, there's only a few people that I truly can call on that I would even confide in with my, my worst problems. Mm -hmm. There's only a few people, probably on one hand, mm -hmm. you know, and so um, it helps you appreciate uh, true friendship uh, in, 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 in that fashion when I, when I think about this film. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously each of you have been, you know, the incredible actors that you are uh, in some really powerful projects just over the years. Mm -hmm. So how does this particular project really fit into mm -hmm. the legacy of art that you want to leave behind? Um, and I'll start with you, Sina. Oh, wow. Legacy of art. Um, you know, it's funny because I, when I was a young baby in this business, mm -hmm. you, I always said, you know, I want my career to be a beautiful mosaic. Mm -hmm. I literally used to say that, and I haven't said that in years, but that's what I, you know, when I set my intention, I would love for my career to just be a beautiful mosaic. No, no one thing, but many different things. And so thank you for reminding me of that. And this is just gonna be a little pretty piece in the mosaic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what about for you, Anjanu? You know, how does this body of work kind of tie into the legacy that you want to leave of your, you know, illustrious career? Oh, illustrious. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I just hope it, I, I hope someone, I hope people see it and <laughs> that first. That, that, <laughs> that, that right there, right? <laughs> In the age of streaming, you're like, wait, you know, I, I, you know what I mean? I can, I can so leave true. it at that. Right. right. I can leave it at that. Yeah. So first, I will hope people will see it. 
<laughs> and um, and then beyond that, I hope they see it and see something that that they are comforted, mm. that they are that they are moved, um, and they it 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 generates something after after the, it generates something good after after they see it. Mm. I, I I want that for you know everything mm -hmm. that I do. Yeah, mm, I love that. Mm -hmm. Makai, what about for you? Um, well, you know, it's funny because, you know, every time we finish a film or something like that, I know for me, it's like, wow, I, you know, another notch in the belt, okay, another another thing that I've accomplished. And Russell and I were having dinner, actually, he joined me and my wife, and we had dinner last night. And, um, and we were talking about how... Um, it's not about particularly one project, but a but a but a body of work, you know. And we we sometimes get so caught up in putting our head down and just doing the work that we sometimes don't pop our heads up to take a breath and go, "Wow, look at all the work we've actually done. Mm. Look at how diverse our work is. Look how many people we've touched, not just in the United States or in our, in our communities, but around the world. And in how many different ways have we done so?" And sometimes we don't give ourselves the flowers we should give ourselves. You know, we to, just to be here and be a part of that 1% that Sanaa, you weren't here, but Sanaa was talking about earlier that makes their living from this business and from acting alone, um, that's, that's a, a, a feat amongst itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm very appreciative of that. And, and that's what I always keep in my mind. You know, sometimes take a breather, look up. Let's look at what you've done. That's true. This, is, this is a body of work. Not just one to two movies. I wasn't lucky just to be in a movie. You know, this is a a, a process that is uh, well deserved. Mm, I love that. And Russell, I'll let you add something if you have something um, to share as well, just about how this will tie into your your legacy of work as well. You know, you know, the, the, the saying goes: "There's there's no strong roles, only small actors. There's no such thing as a small role." Right. And I think that it was important to just uh, be a be a, just a part, a piece of a great mosaic, to be yes. a piece of a puzzle. And, you know, being here in support of these lovely, wonderful, talented women. And, you know, for me, it's just about taking your, taking your space and being able to do that, come in and, you know, you know, make a hit, hit a single, you know what I mean? Maybe <laughs> stretch out a little double or whatever like that. Right. And have fun in the process. Right, right. And, and I, you, I think you always make it so fun. And both of y'all, I just have to just say this since we're I'm thinking about it. You're both so amazing human beings. Mm. Forget about your talent. Both of these men, to be famous men in this business they are so giving like just so lovely to be around russell was dancing in the trailer every morning love it. Love and it. getting on my nerves i was like i have to cry can you please turn the turn this thing down <laughs> but literally such a joy and makai is so giving and so i just want to say thank you well, to thank you. both of you for your generous spirits and you know, it's it's these this, the quality of these men is is a rarity. So appreciate that. Yes. Likewise, and right back at you. I'm glad you didn't tell me then you didn't like my singing. Don't burst Thank you all so much for taking no, this thank time. thank you. With us. I will say I'm going to give you your flowers because I think this film is exceptional. But also, I've had I've admired your careers for for years, and so just thank, thank you for taking the time to chat with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.